Hello everyone and welcome to the sixth part of the PyQt model view programming series. My name is Yasin and I'll be your instructor. Last time we learned about proxy models and their roles in the Qt API. We used a class called QSortFilterProxyModel to sort and filter our models before they reach the views. You should now be able to understand how to use proxy models. Today, however, will be all about the class called QDataWidgetMapper. So what's a QDataWidgetMapper? What can we use it for? All those questions will be answered since it's the primary goal of this tutorial. QDataWidgetMapper allows us to map data from a certain row column of our model into a widget in Qt. The widget can be anything from a comma box, line edit, spin box to even a customly implemented widget made in the designer or written from scratch. This mapping then allows us to use these widgets to modify the data at the corresponding row and column. A line edit could be used to modify the name of the node class. A spin box could be used to modify the light intensity, etc. Think of it as a static property grid which allows you to play around with the data. All of this is done while maintaining the syncing property of model view programming.